Hey guys, so this is another tip video on shot cut for those that are use this for video editing. So the issue that I'm encountering every once in a while is that when I'm in the middle of my edits, all of a sudden I get a black screen. I hear audio, uh, but I don't see any picture displayed. Uh, as you can see, I can run the video right now. You can hear it. You know, so... You know, one of the people, one of the common solution was, okay, you have something over your master track. And just to show you that I don't have anything over my master track. I do have filters on here. And none of my filters, you know, is to black out the picture here. And as you can see, I go down to this one. You know, none of them blacks, blacks it out, you know. So this occurs sometimes when I copy and paste a video clip into another position or I move something into another position just mostly not so much when I apply a filter but when I take a clip that exists and I move it somewhere in my timeline so I looked it up online and I came and I saw the solution for it and apparently there's two solutions and the easiest one that I'm going to show you right now is go through your filters so apparently this glitch is caused by the fade in filter. So I went through down the list to figure out, okay, maybe I can remove my filters and see if that, you know, helps the problem. And apparently it's the fade in filter. So watch, once I click on that and remove it, I get my picture back. And for the top one, so I have two videos. Once I remove the fade in one, my picture comes back. So that was my big culprit of what's causing this program to just go completely black. Some, there's a glitch going on. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure um, if this was resolved. I have the, the latest version of Shotcut, but for those that I encounter this, I call it the talking abyss, um, which is basically a black screen and you just hear nothing but audio. Um, go ahead and go through your filters and see if that rectifies the problem now let's just say this doesn't rectify the problem you erase the filters um, from your your uh, filter properties and it's still you got a black screen the original solution that I found out was to open up this file here your MLT file in a text editor and I have it open right here and what you want to do is seek a, so filters right here. So what I did originally was every time I saw a filter tag, filter ID, I uh, deleted it, you know. So basically it would delete all my, um, delete all my filters. And just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And make sure I don't. So this whole thing right here, I'm going to remove it. So starting from filter ID, starting filter uh, zero all the way to down. You know, sometimes I had like up to six filters. So it'll be filter six. So I'll just go ahead and delete that. Make sure you create a backup before you try this. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it uh, Backup 2. Okay. Save. And so I'm going to reopen that file that we had previously. And my video should come back. As you can see, the picture has been restored. Thank goodness. But as you can see, all my filters have been deleted. Um, so, and we can run the file. It's going to be a little choppy because it's, it's my sleep. See, so that picture is back and that picture is back. So this is my little tip for those that I encounter that talking abyss glitch. So it's the, from, from what I understand, it's the fade in filter that's glitching up. But 
it might be another filter that is glitching up for you guys. Uh, so try that out. Don't be afraid to edit the MLT file in a text editor. Other than that, uh, that's all I wanted to share for you today. Quick little video. Hopefully this helps you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up uh, and look out for future tips on how to use Shotcut if I come across anything that I think is deemed useful and I don't see it posted on the internet. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Uh, be safe out there and always keep your head in the game. Take care, guys.